In previous scope projects, we've seen how to use our oscilloscope to measure and display time-varying waveforms in the main waveforms window. We can determine parameters we want directly from the main window, of course, but sometimes it's a bit tedious to make these measurements ourselves. There are quite a few tools available that can help make these measurements easier. Two of those, cursors and measurements, are the subject of this project. Now, the measurement tools are so easy to use, it can be tempting to ignore the waveform displayed by the scope. That's a bad idea, though. Always make a quick comparison between measured values and the waveform. The measurements will often make assumptions about the waveform that aren't warranted. As engineers, we need to make sure that the measurements actually make sense. We'll use the same circuit as the one from the second scope tutorial project, the project about triggering. The circuit's shown here. It's simply an LED connected to channel one of our AWG so that we can apply a time varying voltage to the LED. There's a resistor to limit the current, and we're using both channels one and two of the oscilloscope to measure the resistor and LED voltages. In fact, for this demonstration, I'll pick up exactly where I left off in the second oscilloscope project. My oscilloscope is set up just as it was at the end of the second oscilloscope tutorial video. I'm going to make some measurements now relative to these waveforms. Clicking on the measure button opens up a measurement window. You can use this button to display a wide range of parameters about the displayed waveform. For example, suppose I want to find the maximum value displayed for channel 1. Just select channel 1, click on vertical, choose maximum, and then click on add measurement. We see that the maximum value is about 2.0 volts. The measurement tool provides a wide range of options, but won't let you display everything you may be interested in. Information relative to specific points on the waveform can be obtained using the cursors. The cursors are accessed by these little icons at the upper right and lower left of the display screen. The icon in the upper right sets vertical cursors, and the icon in the lower left sets horizontal cursors. For example, suppose I want to find the time duration of this peak on channel 2. Just click and drag an X cursor to the beginning and end of this peak. The times associated with each cursor are displayed along with the change in time. DX is 23.5 milliseconds. I want to reemphasize that these tools make it easy to take measurements but should not be relied on entirely. Always compare measurements to the actual waveform shape in the main window. That's the only way you can determine whether the measurement you're making is appropriate. 